Hey guys, I'm here to share some tips on how to clean up your pantry. So when you first begin this um, phase or lifestyle, I say phase, but it's not really, it's a, it's a lifestyle. And it's as simple as minimizing your blood sugar. Because when you have high blood sugar, you release insulin and insulin's a fat storage hormone. So I'm gonna give you some tips. So I've just made myself a coffee. I used to have, I don't know, four, five, six coffees a day, and I used to put milk in them. And I used to go for skim milk because I was told that fat was gonna make me fat, but that's not actually the case. So in full cream milk, you have quite a lot of sugar. It's called lactose, you already know that. And just to give you an idea, if you're slowly, slowly lowering your carbs, this is probably, I mean, skim milk or skim flavored anything, low fat anything is gonna sabotage you because it's full of sugar. So what I'm gonna suggest you do is just check your labels. So one of the simplest switches you can do especially if you're having coffee like I do, is switch over to cream. Now the pure stuff is great because a lot of these thickened um, creams have additives. So just put a dash of cream in your coffee. Well, what's not to love? And because it's a healthy fat, you're going to be fuller longer. Speaking of healthy fats, one of the best things you can do for yourself is to toss out any of your crappy oils. So what I mean by that, crappy oils might be canola, um, sunflower, safflower, any of those nasty processed oils are actually full of chemicals and the chemicals are used to extract the oil from the seed. Um, one of the simplest things you can do is switch over to olive oil, coconut oil, butter, uh, what else is good? Macadamia oil, avocado oil. So chuck out your processed oils and make a switch to those oils. You can cook with butter or dripping like your grandma used to. Have a, have a think back. Our grandmas weren't fat 50 years ago. It's because their body knew what to do with it. And this, um, the sorry, not this, but the crappy oils, they give inflammation inside our body. And the inflammation, uh, our body just has to try and heal it as a priority. So yeah, olive oil, macadamia oil, coconut oil, all super good for you. One of the other things that you might like to look at lowering when you first start this is uh, ditching your flowers. So not the flowers that somebody gave you, you don't wanna throw those out, but any of your processed grain flowers. So I'm talking about your plain and your self-raising flowers, you wanna chuck them out. Truly get rid of them because your body treats them as sugar and that sends you into fat storage. So, um, Processed starches are basically just sugar. They are just different chains of sugar. So um, in exchange, you might like to look at, this is almond meal, uh, almond flour. They're the same thing. They're just actually uh, the amount of the nut that's been used and the uh, fineness of the processing. So chia flour, any, um, any of those seed type flours or nut type flowers are actually particularly good for you. They're full of brain food and they give good fiber. And when you mix them with a healthy fat, they give amazing satiety as well. Satiety is about feeling fuller longer. And when you give your body starchy carbs or flowers that are our traditional flowers, it, it, you'll find you feel sluggish, especially when you come off them and, and try them again. So switching over to kind of nut flowers is a really good healthy thing for you to do. A lot of people struggle with bread. Um, this is an Aldi low carb bread. You always want to be checking the label and you wanna stay with five grams or less. Um, Aldi has it in Australia, Woolies, and I'm pretty sure Costco in the States. So just do a bit of research and just see what you can find. But five grams of carbs or under per slice or two slices is a really good guide. And you can slather them with butter. I know, or avocado actually is probably better for you. Um, dairy can cause inflammation as well. These are from Woolies in Australia. They're a low carb wrap. There's a few different kinds. Don't believe what it says on the front. You need to actually flip over the packet and read it yourself. So, I mean, this has like 100,000 ingredients. Actually, I think it's 20. So, I mean, if you're following this lifestyle, the way to do it healthily is to go five grams of carbs or less, five ingredients or less, Sometimes that's a challenge in our society. These wraps, are, they don't make my body feel good, but my daughter toasts them 
for um, lunch, especially while she's on holidays. Pasta is another thing people really struggle with. You can spiralize noodles, uh, spiralize vegetables into noodles. And um, this uh, is a uh, edamame and soy, and you can find them in the health food section of the aisle. Um, you can also get these little things. They taste like nothing. Uh, these are in the health food aisle as well, and you'll have to look down. They hide them because the general population don't want them. Um, the general population probably need them, but anyway, that's a whole other story. So this is a cognac noodle, and you can. They taste like nothing. They're a vegetable, and they're zero carbs. So uh, just. Be aware of any allergies that you might have with these. And they're so filling. You only need a little bit. So you won't be eating the whole packet. They seem like they're a bit expensive compared to normal pasta. But you're also not going to uh, be on that roller coaster of spiking blood sugar, blood sugar, blood sugar. So that's those. And last but not least, get rid of your sugar. Don't drink your sugar. Super important. Uh, this is powdered erythritol, and you can get that in health food shops um, from iHerb. Uh, there's a whole ton of places, but the powdered erythritol, it doesn't have a blood sugar spike, neither does stevia, um, which means that it's not gonna send you into storage mode. And it's pretty much a one-for-one -one sub. Uh, you can use xylitol, monk fruit, stevia, erythritol. And none of those should have a blood sugar response like sugar. At the end of the day, sugar is sugar and it's treated the same. Um, this one's from iHerb, I think it's pure. And then I also, I like these as well. These are liquid stevias and I have them like just a couple of drops in my coffee. So hopefully that's helpful for you. I'm gonna encourage you if you've just watched this to do a bit of a pantry clean out and have a most amazing day.